Uh, this vehicle is the T95. I haven't played this in a long time. I'm really looking forward to playing it. I don't have any crew for this vehicle. In my barracks, I have some zero-skill BIA uh, recruits. Just have to figure out which ones are for the United States. That one's the UK, Germany, Russia. So we got one here for the USA. Another one for the USA. Another one for the USA. Got UK, UK, Russia, Russia. Okay, there's another one for the USA. There's another one for the USA. Okay, so we've got enough for the USA. So I am going to put these into the T95, which will be Commander. Gunner. Driver. Loader. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should not have put the loader in. And the reason why is because uh, I could have used that um, crew member for a different vehicle, and I could have just taken one of these other loaders over here, uh, for, for example, this T67 loader, because they don't need a lot of uh, crew skills. But I already did it. That was a small mistake. You probably don't want to do that mistake. I'm going to go over here to my crew books, and as you can see, I do have uh, some crew books. Normally, you want to do it when you've got six crew members. However, these are zero-skill BIA crew members. So look at the bonus I'm going to get by applying this. Already jumping up just with the second book. It's already jumped up uh, to the next uh, crew skill. I'm going to do the same for this. one more time and just to see what it would be like this is uh, to the selected crew and this is to the whole crew Look at how much it jumps up I'm gonna save those for last first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I better have done this right I'm gonna apply all of my crew skills and then I'll go back and make a decision as to um, how I apply it. Now, do you think that Sixth Sense is necessary with the T95? I would argue maybe it isn't. You're always going to be spotted, right? And you're so slow. What does it matter if somebody spots you? Are you going to be the last tank in the game and hiding from the enemy? I don't know if Sixth Sense really helps with the T95. But I'm going to pick it anyway because we're used to using it. Go with Brothers in Arms. Probably Repairs is a good bet. Maybe Armor. I don't know if the if the gun gets damaged. The turret rotation one, it only has a small impact because of the gun traverse. I'm going to go with Repairs on this. Brothers in Arms. Definitely clutch braking. You want to be able to spin that vehicle. Although the off-road off driving is a good bet also. Because it gives you some of the benefits for clutch braking. I'm going to take off-road driving now. I'll take clutch road, clutch braking afterwards. Brothers in arms. And then I'm going to take safe stowage. Which is going to reduce the chances that my... Uh, ammo rack gets hit so that's a brand new crew for me 
That's pretty cool. The question is, should I apply some of these other skills? We could run this on everybody. We could run this on just one. That's a decision that I'm going to make later. And the reason why is because I still have to go through all of these nations uh, to apply all the crew books that I, I have. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.